Clay County Sheriff's Office has been dealing with a week unlike any other after Deputy Brenton Chitwood was shot during a routine traffic stop Monday night. Now with the suspect in custody, a press conference was held with investigators who worked tirelessly during the manhunt. Zach Verdia was there earlier and Zach, you spoke with the Clay County investigator at the forefront of this case. Exactly, Shatania. Although not many new details can be released yet, Sergeant Kenny Nash gave us a look into the hectic last few days. The dangers of working in law enforcement are evident just about every day. There's no perfect way that any officer can approach a vehicle in a way to where they're not going to get shot at some point if the suspect wants to shoot. That was the case when Clay County Deputy Brenton Chitwood was shot during a routine traffic stop, setting off a statewide manhunt involving agencies from all over. In the days after, many like Clay County investigator Sergeant Kenny Nash were running on fumes. Between new leads, lots of travel, no sleep, and until late Tuesday, no idea who the suspect was. And a lot of times those leads might come in an hour apart or, you know, a minute apart. And so you're just going from one to the next and following up on what you think maybe or may not be good information because they're all important. And so that could just really start to drag out. Uh, it might take you to different cities, different towns. Um, again, throughout the day, you're just kind of bouncing around trying to chase down those leads and it could, it could be very time consuming. And all that hard work paid off. Recovering the suspect's vehicle in Wichita Falls, expediting the identification of 31 year old Joshua Lee Green of Arlington. For us to have basically at that point nothing to go off of, these guys did a fantastic job in the amount of time it took them to uh, get the information they needed to lead them to a uh, suspect. Not only ID and Green, but with the help of Arlington PD, SWAT, and multiple other agencies, he was located at a hotel down in Arlington. And after a short foot pursuit across six lanes of I-20, apprehended the suspect about 38 hours after shooting Deputy Chitwood, whose bulletproof vest made all the difference. Especially in a case of, of this nature, knowing that, you know, this individual shot a cop and we were able to get to him quickly before anything else, you know, potentially could happen down the road. And at the moment, that's why we're not receiving more details about whether anything was recovered in the car or how Green made it back to Arlington. Sergeant Nash says releasing those details could hinder their ongoing investigation. So it's a relief, but it's also like, okay, you catch your breath for a second, but I mean, you still have much more work to do and you still have a very thorough investigation to, to continue on with. Months worth of work crammed into three days with more on the way. Well, we are able to provide a quick update since that press conference as Joshua Lee Green has been brought back and booked into Clay County Jail on a $750,000 bond. And of course, since a lot of those other details are still unreleased, stick with us on air and online as we receive those updates throughout the upcoming days and weeks. All right. Thank you, Zach.